Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Alisa Abdullayeva and I'm here to help you to create harmonious and happy relationship between men and women. And today we're going to talk about children. A very common mistake that I see a lot of parents are making. Sometimes I go to my girlfriend's home, sometimes I go to my girlfriend's girlfriend's home. Those parents have typically have one or two children. But when you go to their homes, it feels like and it seems like that they don't even have children. How can you tell? The living room, the dining room, the kitchen doesn't have any toys, it doesn't have any pictures, it doesn't have any drawings of their kids. And that breaks my heart, that kids have to go upstairs in a special room, kids room, where they have to play. And you guys gotta get something. In psychology, this disorder actually called OCPD obsessive compulsive personality disorder. It's very different from OCD because people with OCPD, because they like order, they like rules, they like everywhere cleanliness or organization. They're so obsessed with it that there is no room for their partners, whether again it's a husband or wife, or their kids to have any space for themselves. Meaning, kids ideally would like to leave their drawings on the refrigerator or on the table. That's how they feel the sense of accomplishment. And they want parents to feel proud of them and put their drawings everywhere. And again, people with OCPD, because they want their cleanliness and rules and organization, and they're so rigid. They have to have a kitchen look certain way. They have to have a living room in order in such a way, or dining room, or breakfast area, or the bedrooms, or even the kid's room, because they go behind their kids or partners, and they try to organize everything. And if everything is not organized the way they want to, they bicker and bicker, and they make comments and they criticize and complain because otherwise they don't feel at peace, they don't feel comfortable, they don't feel at ease and so they make life difficult for everyone and they think it's supposed to be this way. They're very compulsive about these rules, being rigid, being clean or being organized and so when you go to people's home like that you feel uncomfortable because everything is so perfect, it's so neat, because they're also dealing with this perfectionism. By the way, where is this coming from? Is when they were kids, they had traumas, they had rough parents who were very critical, and they became obsessive about organizing either their bedroom or their homework room or something in order to feel some kind of safety, some kind of control. There was no safety, of course, it's an illusion, but they, at least they felt some kind of control. And now they're trying to control everybody also in order to feel, again, this sense of control. Also, these people with OCPD are very rigid with money. They're very frugal. They have plenty of money and they're stacking this money for hypothetical bad day or emergency. And so if their children or their partner, if they ask them for something, they have this money, but they will never spend it. And they will try to control everybody with money. For example, they can afford a $50 dinner but they would want to spend only $30 because they got to stack this $20 just in case their emergency will happen. And so that's again how they will try to control their kids. If kids need um, this big gift or outfit for school or prom or something, they will not spend this extra money on even kids. Because again, they have this fear of losing this money and one day they might need it for the emergency. So it's very rough to be around those people. As a matter of fact, in our family, we have a family member like that who is this perfectionist. She likes to clean her house very neat. It feels like a surgical room and she's very frugal with money. Even if her kid will need a surgery and she has this money, she will spend it. Because again, there's such a deep fear 
that she might need this money one day in the future for herself. And again, being in her house, it feels like a surgical room where you have to put shoes certain way, you have to clean a dish certain way, everything has to be clean and organized that nobody feels comfortable at this point to even visit this relative. But now, because I sh said that I'm going to talk about OCD, people with OCD is different. They struggle with their disorder. They suffer that they have to clean a table five way, five times in a circle way, or they have to brush their hair ten times a certain way. It kills them. But people with OCPD, they think that's the way it should be, and they will try to make everyone to follow their rules. And everybody suffers. Everyone struggles. And typically when you go to a person's house with kids and everything is neat organized and you don't see anywhere toys, you don't see anywhere drawings, you can tell right away that this person is struggling with OCPD. So with that said, I invite you so if you see that you have a symptom of OCPD, that you're trying to control your husband or your wife or your children being nice, neat and organized, consider that you're hurting them. And maybe you can start seeking treatment. Because again, usually kids, when they grow up in the environment with one of the parents who had OCPD, when they grow up, they usually cut those parents off because it's exhausting to be in an environment with one of the parents who has OCPD. And usually, not always, but usually uh, kids, when they grow up with a parent with OCPD, they later struggle with the same disorder. And you guys gotta understand that this is a psychological disorder. It's not your lifestyle and this is not the rule, even though you created this rule for yourself, but everyone around you struggles so i hope it's been helpful give your children a break i'm going to show you the picture of our son's table in the living room in a den in the kitchen and in his room he's messy because he's a seven-year-old he puts the drawings everywhere his legos are everywhere and because he's happy we're happy if you have children, give them some room for self-expression. With that said, namaste.